Alright, today we're going to be doing a unboxing and kind of an initial impressions review of this Sugi Lang bait feeding spinning reel that can be found on Amazon, Walmart, different places like that. So we're going to get this thing out of the box and take a look at it. Alright, so I purchased three of these spinning reels and I got them all online via walmart.com they are on Amazon but they come in two different sizes they come just show you the outside of the box here so this I wanted this particular black one it's a it's more of a lighter weight one and uh, it kinda matches the color of the rod I'm gonna put it on honestly but it's a little bit smaller and compact, but it has good line capacity, and we'll get into all that later. But um, that's why I chose this one. That's why I wanted this one. But on Amazon, you can only find the size 7,000, which was a little bit too big for what I wanted. What I wanted was this 5,000 size reel, and uh, luckily Walmart had them in stock. So I think I got them for, I want to say, $35 a piece. So they're a really affordable reel. Uh, some might say scary affordable. So. That's a 6 plus 1 ball bearing, 5 5 1 gear ratio, and then this is what I was interested in, the line capacities. Um, so, you know, just 14 pound mono, you could get 210 um, yards of it on there. So, I'm going to be using 12 pound monofilament, I think it's about that .30 millimeter size. So, I should be able to get, uh, you know, over 200 yards of it on. So, um, it might even be a little bit smaller than that, but I wanted a, a good a good amount of line capacity on a little bit more compact reel, and I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money. So this is what I, I settled on. There are a lot of forms of this of uh, Su Yelang. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's what it looks like to me. There are a lot of forms of this reel that you can find online. It is you know one of those mass-produced Chinese reels that. You can find in a lot of different names, but I've owned a couple of these. Um, I've actually got one right here, a size 4000, kind of a different model, different type, but same brand name. I've used this reel quite a bit, um, just has a lower line capacity, and uh, I've got a lot of carp on it. It's been a really good reel to me, so, you know, for a cheaper reel, my experience has been pretty good. But this one is, is just a little bit different just than the look um, and kind of feel of it, um, but the overall components it look to be similar to the other ones that I've seen. So, um, got it out of the box. Here it is. It does have a you know the folding handle. We'll go ahead and tighten that up. I do prefer my handle to be on the left side, as I will reel with my left hand, hold the rod with my right. So that's pretty tight. Just kind of feel it here. Yeah, it feels nice and smooth. Uh, it does have a really nice, one of those nice spinning uh, kind of rounder handles. I know some people don't like those. I personally prefer those um, quite a bit over uh, the alternative, which I have had. Um, it's kind of, uh, I mean, it's a black reel, but it's got kind of a orangish, bronzish, goldish, I'm not sure what you'd call it, accents to it which matches the rod. I'll be putting it on an orange and black rod. So, um, feels really nice. It, uh, the knobs for the drag feel pretty good. Drag sounds uh, like it clicks. Everything feels, as I'm pulling here, feels like it's right. There's no catches or anything like that. Go ahead and tighten that back down. And then you get to the best part of a reel like this, and the whole reason you buy one of these, is this bait feeding setup. This little rear drag trigger back here. Um, so when you engage that, that aligns this spool to move freely. And you can hear that. It, it allows the carp or catfish or whatever it is you're fishing for to take line without uh, having to have your bail open or any of that thing, you know, that kind of thing, or, you know, loosening your drag down to the point where you're going to have to really mess with it when you pick the, the reel up. So that's what that's for. 
and to disengage it, I believe, I generally flip it down. I, I manually disengage it, but I think most of them, yeah. You can just start reeling when you pick it up, and boom, it clicks back, and you're, and you're fighting the fish. You're, you're now functioning with your fighting drag on your spool there, and not this rear drag. That's your adjustment back here is this little, this little knob back here. You can adjust how, how quickly or how much uh, tension that has on that free spool mode. So um, that's basically it as far as how it works. Now as for what it's, it feels like it's made out of a little bit of a both metal and kind of a plastic. Uh, the, the body looking right around in here, most of that feels like some form of a plastic. Although it does feel very rigid. Uh, a lot more so than my other one. My other one is a lot of plastic. Um, the, the handle's metal on this one. The spool is obviously, you can see that it's metal. Um, so, yeah, it seems to be fairly well made. Um, my other one was, was largely plastic. It does have a really good, good sized gauge wire for the bail here, which uh, can come in handy for bank fishing and some nasty terrain. Uh, I have had thinner uh, gauge wires for these bales and they've bent, broke, whatever the case may be, they just didn't stand up very well. So so that's uh, that's essentially it, the, the Su Ge Yilang. Um, it doesn't really have a, a, like a catchy model name, but it's the, let's see if I can get that close for you, it's the S331-5000 is what this particular one is. And again, I found this one on Walmart online and uh, it's about $35 a piece. It's got six plus one ball bearings. I believe it's a five, five, one gear ratio. Find that, get that nice and close for you. And uh, yeah, that's essentially it. If uh, you wanna see this reel in action, make sure to subscribe and hit the alerts for our channel as this upcoming spring, this reel in combination with my new Whisker Seeker catfish and carp rods are going to be used a lot to try to catch carp. So if you want to see this thing in action, make sure to stay tuned for those videos. As always, thanks for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe.